crumbs, guys. Here it is. Kettle chip. <laughs> Put in the right way up, Steve. Kettle chips. And here we have David browsing kettle chips. Lightly salted, no surprise there. Now, hold on. Steakhouse barbecue as well. Oh, Joanne wasn't expecting that. Perhaps this is the start of a new David. A lasso swinging, stallion taming David. A cow whispering, bucking, bronco riding David. A David who lives life on the edge and takes no prisoners. You know, there's more to David than she thinks. And there's more to Kettle than you think. Hey everyone, how are you doing? Today we're doing a stack review. Steve, we haven't seen that for a long time. Well, there's not many in Malta, because I'm English man in Malta, if you didn't know. Links are below, Instagram, Facebook, or blah, 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 blah. And my new channel, English Man Travel, go and have a look at it. I need subscribers desperately, please. <laughs> if I can get them up a little bit, I can do a live from there, because I'm going away a few, I've got about three things planned this year so it'll be interesting englishman travel link below go and just go and subscribe to me even if you don't like me <laughs> i'm having a lug this is a to wet me whistle because it's a snack to clear my uh taste buds now this is an interesting one let me just grab one because i've got a few can you hear the crunch guys here it is kettle chip <laughs> put in the right way up steve Kettle chips. Now I thought they were an American company, and actually they are an American company. Uh, or they're ma made in Oregon, I think it is the place. I've seen kettle a long time, and they're really nice chips. So we're going to find out. Uh, but they're actually these are made in United Kingdom from a from a head office in there with fresh potatoes and with British potatoes. So we've got hand cooked potato chips with paprika and roasted onion. <laughs> oh. Sweet chili and sour cream. This is black pepper crushed with sea salt. Cheddar cheese and red onion. Oh, balsamic vinegar of Modinia. Where is Modinia? M O Modinia. I'll have to research that. I don't know where Modinia is. Sea salt and balsamic vinegar. Hand cooked potato chips. And uh, sadly, this is the la there was another one, but there was only one packet there. Um, I, I, I couldn't take it because it was a bit mashed up. Um, this is a Thai ch chili sweet. But there was another one. I don't know if this is the range. Tell me in the comments if it's the whole range. So there's three, four, five, six. So there was seven really in Malta. Is that the range? I, I don't know. Um, maybe United Kingdom, you've got more. There was another one. It was obliterated. It was the last one in the box. And I, I didn't fancy it. I thought it's going to be all crunched up. So let's give it, a, we'll try the ones. That's not so bad, because there's a bit, Looks interesting, eh? Modinia, Modinia, M O D E N A. Ooh. So, sweet chili, we'll leave it to last. And maybe the pepper to last. And the pepper to last. We'll try the cheese and cheddar with red onions. Oh, and the Thai chili, sweet chili. So, I don't think that matters because they've all got strong taste. And the balsamic. Oh, what the hell? We've got the lager. And we've got a few other tins in the back because you might have to break into a few more because you never know. Steve, I thought you was off the beer. Well, you know, I've got my I've got my obligations to you guys. Let's try the mature cheddar and red onion. Obviously, nothing artificial. And cooked potatoes from Kettle, which is a British potato. I was surprised. I thought it was. Uh, from America, or Oregon, Oregon, something like that, the places. Handmade in small batches to guarantee the great crunch every time. This is uh, real foods and real ingredients. This is a bit small to me till I change my glasses. <laughs> so you'll have to research it. But anyway, they're potato crisps. And they look Blooming lovely. 
<laughs> wow, that they're really tight to open. Oh, I can smell. They got a lovely smell already. Little, little over fifty percent of the bag. How much are they, Steve? <laughs> I've blooming forgot. One sixty-eight euros. I think it was that. I'll put it down below anyway. They got a nice crunch. Not many big potatoes. Do the mouthful challenge, Steve. Too right. Ooh. <laughs> this is going to be the mouthful challenge. That's being greedy. Let's do it. Hey, they got a good plant. Not very strong taste of cheddar cheese. Very slight cheese and onion taste. Lovely tasting. Very nice crunch. That's kettle. Natural, um, mature cheddar. You would think mature cheddar would have a bit of a stronger, a more stronger cheesy taste. I need some more beer. Lovely. Let's try this one from Modia. If I can open the blessed things. <laughs> You're getting weak, Steve. Little bit less than 50%, but maybe with the crunch factor. Balsamic really comes through strong. And a bit of salt. I like this, eh? nice taste. I don't like uh, vinegar crisps very much. But when it's balsamic, do the crunch test, Steve. Coming up. Mmm. My whole mouth. Full of lovely taste. Kettle. Sea salt. Balsamic vinegar. Of Modena. No idea what that is. Tell me in the comments. Mm. What a blooming mess you're making, Steve. You like a kid, like a kid. Black pepper, sea salt, crushed. Crushed. <laughs> I tell you something. Not easy to get in these things. <laughs> They're hard to get into. They're harder than the crown jewels to get into. Mediocre these. Just a, I would call this a plain Plain crisp, black pepper, <coughs> sea salt, and crushed black pepper. So we're left with uh, Thai sweet chili, sweet chili, and sour cream, and paprika. Which one next, guys? Oh, okay. I'll go with the Thai sweet chili. Half of the video is going to be <laughs> opening the blessed container. Wow. 
They're super hard. I'm getting a bit greasy fingers now, so that could be a little bit over half this one. Got a nice, nice, a nice smell. Hang and cooked potatoes, chips, Thai sweet chili. No heat at all. Mm. Coming a little bit on on one of. Oh yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting a little bit of an aftertaste. Oh, slowly it's coming a bit now. I didn't clean. I didn't clear my. You didn't tell me, guys. Clear your whistle, Steve. The chili creeps up to you after. Yeah. I'm tasting it. I'm tasting it nice now. Mmm, these are quite a nice crisp. Eh? I didn't think about shaking them up. Mm, I like this. Thai sweet chili from Kettle. Hand cut, cooked in small batches, so they're crunchy. One thing you can't, um, you can't knock on Kettle. They've got a nice crunch there. So, next one. We're going to try out the sweet chilli and sour cream. <laughs> Just cut it, Steve. I think I'm going to have to. All right. I'm getting the knack. I'm getting the knack. Real foods, real ingredients. Oh, this one's a bit less than hot. I suppose it depends on the transport because coming over from over here to Malta they will get bashed around a little bit. Oh there you go. this is a nice combination. It's down to really down to everybody's tasting. Eh? What I like maybe you don't like it. Eh? Mm. It creeps up on you, the chilli. I'm not getting much of the sour cream. Quite a nice mild, a mild taste this one. <coughs> Normally I like the sour cream, but it's not very prominent. I think probably the chilli is taking over from it, because you get that little bit of the afterburn. I like this one. This is very nice. Mild. Not too much of the sour cream. A little bit of the sweet, the sweet chili taste. I had an interesting comment the other day. Steve, we like, we love, we love your foodie channel. We love your videos. But why do you show yourself eating? <laughs> well, isn't that the idea of a foodie channel? No, we don't like you looking at we don't like to look at your mouth. <laughs> well, tough. <laughs> this is a devil one. There was a, there must be a knack to this. Tell me in the comments. This is going to defeat me. <laughs> let's do that as the let's do that as a thumbnail. It won't open. It's true. This one is. Hey Kettle, do something about this. The last one, Paprika. It won't open. <laughs> I was having trouble. 
people are worth one last chance. One last chance. If you don't open now, you're going out in the rain. <laughs> Look, I almost ripped it apart. No, I won't throw you out. Unbelievable. On camera as well, you should... You, sh you should be a disgrace. You showed me up. Hey God, there's a guy there, look. He's stirring the pot. He must be the one that's cooking the, the chips. So we're doing a, this was the difficult one. This is the last one, the paprika. How many have we done, guys? Three, four, five, six. Is it six? Three, six. I thought there was seven. Ah, uh, seven because that one we couldn't get, yeah. But maybe there's others. Tell me in the comments, because I couldn't find much online about them. Clear your whistles, Steve. Do you have problems with this, with glasses? Guys, <coughs> I get this glass. I, I told, I was going to take it back to him. It just keeps on getting empty all the time. I fill it up with no time at all. Look, look it's empty. I don't know. You can't get decent things, even though it was free. This is the paprika one, guys. Oh, save the best for last. Nice taste as well. I like paprika. I've got all the paprikas: sweet, sweet paprika, smoked paprika, paprika, hot paprika, and mild paprika. I like to put it in the cooking now. Some pork chops are nice, like Hungarian pork chops with paprika. That's really nice. Have a look on Google. Mm. The last one, the crunch chest. Mm. This is lovely. Just paprika, but it's oh, roasted onion. I can't... Um, I can't taste much of the onion. But the paprika is really nice. Hand cooked kettle chips. So we did uh, paprika, Thai sweet chili, sweet chili and sour cream, paprika and um, pepper, chili cheese and red onion. And the last one. Balsamic vinegar. That's it, guys. Take care, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Kettle chips. Bye.